What's up guys, Zanko Spankin here, and today we are playing as Fiddlesticks Supports. Because there have actually been a lot of you guys asking me about, oh, Ankle Spankin, with how bot lane is changing so much, and you know, you were saying all those 80 carries or non-80 carry bot laners to play are really good, but you didn't talk about what supports to play, and I thought it could be good, since I was auto-filled to support this game, to actually just make a video talking about what supports are good. So, gonna be talking about a couple good supports, and then also um, showing you good ways to support with Fiddlesticks being the champion of choice. Now, some of the other really good supports right now are Alistar, Morgana, uh, I think I've been seeing some Gragas play, Braum is very good. Generally, the tankier supports with heavy CC or supports that are mages, you know, like Brand, Fiddlesticks, Velkaz has been pretty decent, champions like that. Uh, of course, you have Lulu, Janna, very solid picks always, Soraka always. Pretty much, you can play whatever you want, just the ones I mentioned are a little bit better than the others right now. So, those work well with Bruisers, they work well on their own. Fiddlesticks is fantastic right now because he provides a lot of CC and a tremendous amount of damage to help get through lane, as well as his poke being super powerful against champions that just don't have a lot of sustain. So, really wanted to show that off, and caca! Nailed him! Look at that damage, just for one E. Get it going. So, we'll talk about that a little more as we go on. Oop. Can I get it? Oh, I'm not going to be able to get it. Fiddlesticks' E range is actually crazy long, too. And all you need to do is you just sit in bushes and throw your E pretty much on cooldown. Like, <laughs> there's not a whole lot else to it. And, boop. Look at that. Just use the Scorch, use the Airy to get the poke off. And Jin gets a free, free laning phase. And, oh, bounce it. Oh, he didn't bounce it. I was really hoping he would bounce that. So we take our Q at level 2, the Terrify, because that does allow us to have a lot more potential to fight if something does happen at level 2. And we actually don't get our Drain as Fiddlesticks until level 4. So, you might notice that the way I'm posturing myself, I'm being very aggressive, but also not letting myself get in harm's way at any time. The only time I'm going up for any sort of poke or damage is when I know I can get it off. Other than that... I am making sure I'm dodging the skill shots and being completely out of range of things. And look at that phenomenal play so far. Already got a potion out of... What's his face? Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get my E off. Poo poo. Whoop. Oh, I got hit by it. Rip. I tried to bait him in a little bit. It's all good, though. So second point in the E. He's not going to get that minion, so I might as well. And that was a very... Hot... Oh, the bounces? Boom, boom, baby. Look at that. Look at that damage. Totally controlling this lane. I'm going to go ahead and ping my trinket since I want Jin to know that I can't drop a trinket ward right now. And we just saw Graves come out of mid and go towards the bomb side of the map. So we kind of want to be careful here. want to stand back a little bit. I can fear Graves out of a gank, but if we happen to get caught off guard by anything, it's going to be an awkward fight. We do have Wee Woo over on this side of the map too, so it wouldn't be that problematic but i'm actually gonna walk up here and see all right he's not going for it i thought zin might try and go for uh the scuttle crab especially if graves is over there to contest it because if i follow up with him on that we can definitely fight him like in a situation like that where it's just scuttle crab and a champion that's actually where uh, fiddle six is really really strong right now because my e will just bounce between those two targets all the time Making it do a lot of damage to the champion. And, oh, okay, good. I didn't steal it. Whoop. Good root, but, ooh. Oh. Now, I'm crazy. I actually probably would have gone for the flash Q as Jin, or not the flash Q, but the flash auto as Jin there, because he had that fourth shot and the execute damage is really high. And I could also follow up with that, because as an AD carry player myself, I generally understand kind of like, what tendencies he's going to try and follow, and kind of the big plays he's going to try and make. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Ooh. Sorry to take a minion there, Jin, but I think the damage was worth. I think that was 100% worth. Sun coming in, but not going to be enough. Good job, Jin, on the CS and so far, too. He has definitely kept a leg up on this lane. And if I can just get one E off, dude. Where's the other... Whoop. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Ooh. 
Not bad. So there goes his heal. And maybe. Boom. Boom. Come on, bounce it. Oh, so close. Wait. All right, we still got one kill. Jin is, oh, he wants to do it. He wants to do it. He still has his flash. All right, so if Jin's really smart here, he can do this. There it is. Oh, no, dude. So close. So close. It was a good try, buddy. It was a good try. Now we're going to get boots, upgrade this, and get my man for that vision control. Because we're able to keep this wave pushed, or not wave, but lane pushed a lot because of my constant pressure and Jim being Jin. So I'm very safe to have the Demetrius in this bush instead of, you know, anywhere else. Or like back here blocking a dive. Or back here, you know, making it so it's hard to keep vision of me while we're in lane. So I can actually put it here very safely and make sure that uh, we don't have any problems there. So I'm going to do that, check this, and while Ezreal is gone, ooh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm on my way, I am on my way. Why'd you flash? I'm right here! Alright. Man, why'd he flash? I'm right there. Silly, silly man. Alright, whatever, get the honey fruit. Get, get the honey fruit. <laughs> or not, okay. This, this jungle is not making a lot of sense, but that's okay. That is a okay. Bounce it for me, baby. Wow, that hit me. All right, whatever. Oh, that is some damage for sure, dude. For sure. Gotta be careful of that. I'm actually gonna drain this just to get my health back. There we go. So I got most of it back. Potions will get the rest of it. Throw Demetrius down right there. Protect that flank, homie. And oh, that's bad for you. And boop. And there goes his flash. Not bad, not bad. Throw it to the minion. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, it didn't bounce to the champion. Still not bad, though. Good job by Jin. I'm going to drink up on that. Just slurp up. Dude, if I get one good bounce, they're both dead. But I don't think they're going to let me have that opportunity. Good job, though, Jin. 60 to 38 CS. Whoa. Almost got hit by that. And I do have my stopwatch now, too. So that's really good for me. Really, 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 really good. Hermes Ward in the bush. I love this ward skin. Gives me that little crab. I'm actually going to drain this, too. Because pushing the wave isn't really a big deal. Oh, man. <laughs> pushing the wave isn't really a big deal. But being able to have my health up is really important right now. Plus, if we do push the wave and we get to the point where there's only like a couple minions, I can throw my E onto those minions to try and get the damage off on them. So, it is not bad. There's the siege. There's my boy. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, that was close. That was close. If he got hit by that, he either would have had to heal or die. So, my ignite's coming up. Right, there's my alt. We do have Nimbus Cloak here. So, actually, I can just go for this dive. Yeah, woo! There's one. Drop the zonias. And. Oh! Alright, I didn't pay attention to the Katarina being gone. I probably should have not zonias immediately and gone for the fear off on Ezreal, ignited the Ezreal, and then killed him there. I didn't think I would do as much damage as I did to the Zillion. So that's totally my fault. I could have played that a lot better. My bad. I could have done a lot better there. So I'll definitely take uh, take the fall for that one. That was all me messing up as far as not getting both of them. So you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Good choice to grab that right now too. Even though we don't know where Graves is. I do have my flash for next time I ult. So I can initiate from a lot further away. Demetrius is still in that bush. And I'm actually going to walk directly towards this dragon just in case something happens during the time that we're doing it okay cool so nothing happened i'm able to just run down bottom from here instead it's going to time out before he gets it get pranked Dude, he said all right now i can just get this because what's he gonna do stop me yeah, that's what i thought hey stop that <laughs> don't hit me i'm fragile I am a fragile baby boy. Good stuff. So just throw the E and bounce, bounce. Oh, oh, 
Uh oh. Holy. Holy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I have learned my lesson. <laughs> my bad. Holy guacamole. I don't know if that ult was very good. Because Zillion can just ult, right? I mean, he's going to have to ult here for sure. There's the ult. This should be a kill still. Dude, that damage was nuts. I'm going to have to really be careful and mindful of that one. Got him. Good shot, dude. Good, good shot. Now I can actually go and ult on mid real fast. Because I've got my ult and my flash. So as long as I just ult flash... And then, fear her, she should die pretty easily. Ooh. Nice job. Nice job living there. Living large. Large and in charge. So, Alright. You did. Got her. Even though Graves got the Lux, I did still get the Katarina. So, that's a good kill off for me. And now, this is all pushed. I actually want to see if I can keep an eye on old Gravy Poo here. Is he using that thing? Go away. Stop it. I don't want you. If he goes for that, I'm going to run up there and throw my E at him. I'll just pretend I'm not here. Alright, he's not using it. Oh, there's a time guy. He one-shots me. I don't want it. Okay. I'm out of here. Peace. I don't want to actually run through the lane right now. Since Jin's backing, I really don't want to run through the lane at the moment. Or through the river, I mean. Because with Zillion over here, and I know they would know that I'm there from this uh, ward that we saw in that bush. I don't want to run through the river because Ezreal can just kind of run up at me. Zillion can really speed across. If there's the blasting cone there, he can just jump over the wall and destroy my butt. So, better safe than sorry here. I think it's actually going to be best for me to push this wave right now. So, we're going to do that. Level up the fear second. You can go for the... Um, shit, if I want to push this, I have to push the next wave too. But if I want to... Um, if I really wanted to, I could level my... Drain. Drain second, that's the word. Just for the extra damage, but there's not really any need to do that. So we can do this. Yeah, there's... No reason to not just take this tower. And I almost have my full Zonius, too. So there goes his ultimate. We could actually go for this. Ooh. There goes his flash. And there it is. Cool. Cool beans. We weren't able to get first tower, but Zillion is still top, and we can keep on doing this. If anyone runs up to us, I just fear them. Not a big deal. I'm super close to that zone and I can make more plays. So, ideally, I can get a little more gold, but obviously, I don't really want to be sitting here taking money from the uh, AD carry either. So, we should be careful. Because I'm, like, completely out of mana. I am completely oom. Um, good Zonia's. And it did save her. Nice. Good, good job. So, how close am I to that? Riven's down here, too. So we backed off at a good time. A very swell time. Obviously they know we're here, but not a big deal. We're not going for a fight. Just going for some soothing lane pushing. So... Cat no ult, zillion no ult. I am so close to this. Let's... I'll throw Demetrius in that bush. So I'm putting him in this bush to give us a little more control on this side of the map now that we've already taken this uh, this turret. So we don't need the ward right here near as much anymore. Whoa, that was a really aggressive flash. Is it going to pay off? I mean, got her flash in return as well, so that's actually not bad. Now I pick up Zonia's so I can make those plays. And the next things we need are boots. We're going to also finish this. Graves is using the Herald right here. So we need to go towards mid. But we're going to finish our support item, get boots, and then we're going to get a Banner of Command. 
because banner command is so good right now even after the nurse it's still super super powerful so we want to pick that up and with me being me i can just alt right here hey fellas Woo! Oh! I can get my zone use off. Hmm. I mean, we didn't even lose a tower for them using Herald, though, so that's not that bad. All things considered. I mean, it could have been a lot better if I just hit my Zonia's button. And by a lot better, I mean it probably wouldn't have actually made any difference. I kind of ulted and just completely killed myself. She should die, at least. That's good. So the tower's down. He eed forward. This could actually be really good for us. Because he doesn't have his E anymore. Uh, let's see. I need to switch to that. Now that this is complete, we switch to the red trinket. And, oh, they cleared my man. I could have bought another one. Whoops. Whoopsies. <laughs> I guess that was just, like, send a message to him? <laughs> like, just one little zip. I like it. I like it. Damn! This guy's not fucking around. Oh, bounce it. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, so close, man. So close. Good stuff, though. Dude, those bounces, hell yeah. That is some damage. So all things considered, even though I'm 3, 4, and 0, oh, like, I'm inting my face off right now, but I'm doing so much damage and being very disruptive. And as this game goes on, no matter what my score even ends up being, I can still just do so much. Like, because I just ult in and stand there and be really annoying. And if anyone, like, if Riven gets big or if Graves gets big or whoever gets big, I just kind of walk at them, hit Q, and they can't play for a couple seconds. <laughs> so it's a very fun strategy. Very fun strategy. I shouldn't be here alone, though. I should actually be up with my AD carry, because pretty much at all times, that's where I should be. There's no dragon spawning, none of that noise. And it looks like a lot of people are going bottom, so... With that in mind, I need to make sure... I need to make sure my boy is safe. Ooh. Ooh. It's gonna open up with the ultimate here. So... I like it. I like it. Has he got him? Ooh. He hasn't got him. Wait, bounce? Come on! Why are you, why are you bouncing like that, video game? Why are you bouncing like that? Alright, where's Zillion? Where is he? Where's Zillion? Bounce to him? Damn. <laughs> I was really hoping. I was really hoping I could get that. So run up here and fear this. What's the rest of my build looking like? Does Banner have CDR? It doesn't, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's so unfortunate, man. My bad completely. I had Zonia's ready and everything, and I just didn't react near in time. Oh, my gosh. Graves is such a monster. What a cool champion right now. I actually hate Graves so much. He's way, way too strong at the moment. So let's see. They have a lot of big people, so CDR is going to be better overall in this game for me. This will get my, my last 10%. Then after Banner... What am I going to be getting? That is a tough question. That is a tough question. Probably just go for... Zeke's maybe? No, Zeke's has CDR. Because I don't want to go over the CDR cap. Like, after I'm already at 45%, obviously we don't need more. So, I guess I can just go for more raw AP. I can go for, like, a Rylize. That would be actually really good. <laughs> the CS Thief. It is me. I am the CS Thief. Boop. Bounce it. Look at that damage! Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hmm. Ooh. That was almost a kill. Go away! Help! Mother! Wait. Oh no, dude. You can't be missing those when he's CC'd. Alright. Let's see. And. Bacow! Got him! <laughs> 
<laughs> that fourth shot, dude. Good fourth shot. I can go for this. I'm just gonna flash fear. Boom! Get that kill, baby. Good stuff. And look at this Yorick still. He is just pounding down that turret bottom. We uh, we need to wait for Weewoo to get here before we Baron. Because, dude, we'll just die. We have to wait for you. <laughs> like, we can't be starting this without him actually here. Because I don't have a leveled up drain, so I can't tank it. So, we really need him to be tanking it. <sighs> this will go down now relatively quickly. We don't have a mountain drake, but as long as I'm tanking as long as I can to let them do damage, we'll be totally fine. Yep. This is good. And it is gone. Level 2 ultimate now. I can go finish my Eye of the Watchers. And work towards Banner of Command. Get the double armor. I probably should have gotten a control ward there instead of double armor. Because we're going to want to fight for this dragon real fast. And then use our Baron to push with it. And if we have better vision, obviously we can do even more with what we have. But we see Riven top, so... Ping that, ping the dragon. I'm gonna drain to get my health back here. Stop draining early just to make sure that I don't take the minion. And let's see. I gotta be really careful to not accidentally use my uh, my Zonias while I'm warding. So sweep this. I have a fake Metrius, a faux Metrius, if you will, on the on the dragon. So oh, he doesn't have a smite. But we can actually fight for this. If they come, I'm ulting. Okay. So it's only him. Whoa! Okay. Okay. And he loses it. Okay. I guess he didn't have smite, though, so that's not his fault. That's not entirely his fault by any means, because he didn't have smite. It's just a cloud drake, though. Like, cloud drakes are good, but it's not like game breaking to lose it, right? So. Yeah. Nice. Gin for cat is actually super worth. <laughs> That's so worth it, dude. So, so, so worth it. Oh, shit! Oh, God! Oh, sweet Jiminy. Okay. All right, outplayed. Like I said, I hit Q on her, and she can't play the game anymore. <laughs> All right, Riven are down. And we actually need to play around our Yorick right now. Because he's playing a complete split push game. So if we don't facilitate that play style a little bit it's going to actually hurt him and hurt us in the long run because he doesn't want a team fight right now which is honestly kind of stupid given the situation we're in but we can get this tower for sure right now because we've been just teleported top zillions top and i think one other person was top but look at him go look at this macho man go busting the zillion all Oh, two top. I mean, we got the tower still, so that's good. That is good. I need to go back and refresh my wards. Also spend my money. I can get an Aegis right now, so that's super good. Super good. Give me a little bit more res. Pick up Demetrius. And let's get going. So who do I need to protect? <laughs> I don't really need to protect anyone at this point. I mean, I just need to stop them from messing with our team. Because... Pretty much everyone on our team is not equally as strong, but there's no one on our team that's, like, really fed, right? So I don't need to be protecting as much as I just need to be disrupting Katarina for sure. Because Kat's going to be a big issue if I don't disrupt her. Grave's pretty simple to handle overall. Um, oh, this should be a catch. They should have no problem getting her. He's gonna try and go over this wall. I'm gonna be here in time. Yeah, nice. Okay. Ooh, shit. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Do you have your Zonias? Nice barrier. Okay. I'm ulting this and boosh. Gotcha. Goodbye, Ezreal. Goodbye. Look at that. Feels fiddlesticks, man. Feels fiddlesticks. Do so much damage with that ignite. Whoa. Whoop. <laughs> Bye! What an ultimate dick champion. Oh, maybe? Slow? Look at that fear! Get him, Wee Woo! Get him! 
Oh, oh, and he's got him. How annoying of a champion Fiddlesticks is, dude. How obnoxious. And I can afford my banner now as well. Things are looking up for us. This is a close game, too. New York got that tower. She needs to be really careful of this. <laughs> Dude, the fear and the silence. Oh, no. Wait, you want to go for this? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This champion is so annoying. All right, we got our banner. I'm a happy man. Banner done. Let's go for Rylai's for the additional utility for my ultimate. Get the health as well. Throw this on three. And here we go. Excuse me. Wait, do I? Oh, I forgot. I forgot this doesn't give 20 for some reason. So I'm at 35% CDR. I think I got distracted there because I probably had a blue buff uh, from killing someone. So... Didn't realize I didn't actually have full CDR. I can get another CDR item. Cool. So instead of instead of Rylai's, I should actually go for something along those lines. I can go Shirelia's. That could actually be really good. I can go Redemption. So Shirelia's Redemption, Zeke's is a possibility as well. Knight's Vow is a possibility, but albeit a weaker one. So Shirelia's. Oh, Twin Shadows could be another good one too. I'm pretty sure that gives CDR. Twin Shadows. Yeah, it does. But I'm thinking Shirelia's is probably going to be the best idea. Because if I can run at people and then just hit Q on them and outplay them really hard, my team is really, really good at catching people with Jin and Lux. So just being able to get the fear off and pretty much guarantee their, um, their roots or their follow-up CC is really super good for us. Now I can banner this minion... And as long as we push this really hard, even with Baron coming up really soon, oh, I should have... I keep forgetting to ward while I'm doing this. I don't play a lot of support. So, I'm completely forgetting to ward as I run through the river. Oh, shit. Oh. And silence. <laughs> nice. I don't want to ult in on this. I really don't want to ult in on this. Just throw the E. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Look at all that bouncing. Alright, Jin's opening up. Nice. Yeah, I can't. No. Beep. <laughs> Feared. Oh, he's got him too. Alright, and. Feared. <laughs> And go banner minion! Yes, dude! Oh my gosh. This champion's busted. Wait, why don't we just go for the, for the game? Boop! Bye! <laughs> oh no! Sweet! <laughs> nice, dude! That's game right there. Five, five, and nine. Even with next to no knowledge of fiddlesticks as a support, still having a very solid performance. Just constantly running up, hitting Q. Jin, thank you for putting up with my dumbass. I appreciate you, dude. Well done, brothers. So let's see the damage, too. Nice. Right up there with the rest of my team. Granted, if I built a lot more towards just, like, full AP instead of going for the banner and then also had better roams for better ultimates I only had a couple really good ults so I didn't get that much damage out in team fights or anything like that by ulting into a huge team in Zonia's so I could have really done a lot better that game all around the board but I still think I showed how good fiddle six is in lane outside of my blunders and misplays um and how really, really useful you can be, regardless of your status of the game, just by hitting Q on people, right? Like, you just completely outplay people by walking up and hitting Q. Like, what do you do? And then after that, if it's someone like a, or not like a Soraka, but like a Riven, or literally anyone who casts spells, you have that silence immediately right after. So super, super good. Play Fiddlesticks if you get out of field support, or Morgana pretty much, because... 
they're champions that regardless of how you do, you're going to be really useful all the time, like in any stage of the game, just because of the way your kit works. And that's all I got for you. We got the victory in the bag right there. Oh, ew. I forgot I fucked around this account, so I need to, <laughs> to get my, need to get my uh, win rate back up. I was duoing with some friends, and we were not taking games the most seriously. Granted, I was trying to win, but didn't really take them as serious as I should have. So that's my fault. But good game nonetheless. If you guys did enjoy this video, do leave a like in the comment. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can subscribe if you enjoy the content or ring that bell after you subscribe to be notified whenever I do upload more videos. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!